Good morning, students. Today we will be doing a very short and sweet poem which is titled Fireflies. This poem has been written by Elizabeth Jennings and this poem tells us how fireflies can influence us positively. The fireflies, as we all know, glow with light and they are small insects that have a remarkable quality of emitting light wherever they go. It is indeed a wonder to see them shed, shine their light. The speaker says that it is during the warm, dark summer months that the fireflies shine their golden light during the nights. They are seen fluttering softly from one place to another, which is quite like the butterflies in manner. The speaker can see them in her apple tree and it seems as to tell us that fireflies perhaps are playing with her because she feels they are winking at her. And it is actually that the fireflies reflect the light. They can, they can have control over the movements of their light. And that is why their shine, their sparkle is twinkling. They always twinkle their light because, and it seems to the poetess that it probably is winking at her. When there are lots of fireflies together, it, it seems even more fun to see them glow with their lights. And it is an amazing view to capture. The speaker wishes of being a, a similar kind of firefly shedding enormous light during the darkness. In fact, her mother has also inspired her to be like a candle, which is clear and bright. Her light should empower and illuminate the lives of others in a positive manner. Her mother wants us, her to share her light so that she can shine for Jesus day and night. In other words, she can shine brightly with her goodness. Her goodness should be a light for others. And she should follow Christ in, in every thought, word and deed. It also means to say that God's love should be her motto in life and that should inspire her to serve those in need. We have valuable lessons to learn from nature and fireflies teach us the importance of showing light to others when it seems dark around. And we can be of help to those who are needy, the, help, the dying, the helpless, the destitute, the poor and the lonesome. We can offer our helping hand always to others and this should be our guiding light. We should shine our best light even during dark times, even du during struggling times. Even when we ourselves are in trouble or undergoing struggle, we must never lose the opportunity of helping another because this is a God-given opportunity and we all have God-given talents and gifts we, which we must utilize in the best manner. So the light that we have within us refers to the goodness that we have and we must never lose uh, sight of it. Thank you so much.